Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and I actually haven't done a video in this format in quite some time. It's, it's, it's been a while, it's been a while, and I think I want to do a lot more of these in the future because not only do I love talking about the things, you know, that I'm interested in, I'd also love to hear what you guys think about it as well, but today we're going to be talking about Persona 5 Royal. Now, Atlas is known for making definitive or enhanced versions of the Persona series, examples being Persona 3 turning into Persona 3 FES, and Persona 4 turning into Persona 4 Golden. Now it's just Persona 5's time to get its own enhanced edition, and that is in the form of Persona 5 The Royal. Usually these enhanced versions of the games include new characters, new events, new music, even like different story plot points. Basically it's supposed to do what it entails, enhance the game. So with us going into Persona 5 Royal, Alice even said that it's supposed to be even bigger and better and even goes beyond the expectations that we had for the enhancement. And, you know, I fucking think that it does. And we have a lot to talk about, so we might as well just get into it, right? Now, to start, I'd say the first biggest takeaway from Royal would have to be them introducing a new character named Kasumi. Now, Kasumi is very interesting because she has so much hype and buzz surrounding her name, it's actually unreal. We got the cosplayers on deck already. We got people making whole ass subreddits, churches dedicated to her. We got loads of fan art and I mean shit probably some hentai too out there and we even got people back on their bullshit giving her the title of best girl and you know when you start arguing over the waifus on the internet all hell is about to break loose my boy you about to trigger everybody in this comment section you about to trigger everybody on the subreddit wherever now me myself though me myself I'm a Makoto fan I loves me some Makoto. Makoto is the true waifu for me, and y'all can have your opinions about that though. Y'all can have your opinions about that. But the thing that blows my mind still is that we barely know anything about her. All we know is that she's some sort of gymnast, and she's a dancer, and she goes to the same school as we do. Like, she transferred around the same time that we did, and also she becomes a phantom thief herself. And other than that, we don't really know too much about her actual character. Like, for all we know, she could be on some Akechi type shit, my guys. Yo, she, she could betray us or something. I pray that she doesn't because I actually really like her. Alice even said, though, that she will have a vital role in the reimagining of the story and that she's even going to expose some characters and show a different side of her from the shots that we've already seen. Now, don't nobody better get it twisted. I absolutely love Kasumi so far. I mean, she's so extra. Just look at her. She's hit, she hitting those poses. She's stretching out them legs. Like, damn. Like, bro, like, she acts like a female Joker. Also, she looks, like, so cute with her expression. Just look. Like, I love her red hair. And I love her whole aesthetic and her... Oh. Oh. Low forgive me. Anyways, yeah, she's a great character, and I can't wait to see more of her. A lot more of her. When will my Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all we know about Kasumi. Like I said, she's probably the biggest takeaway we can get from Royal so far, unless more information comes out. But we still got a little bit left to talk about, so let's do it. Alright, so getting back on topic, we still have some more stuff to talk about like improvements added to the visuals and lifestyle aspect of the game. Alice added in new portraits of the characters and I really love what they did, adding like new perspectives and angles and like even outfits to the character, which is really cool. Like, it can really get you invested when they interact with each other if they have like new, like brand new stuff and you know, new moves, new poses, stuff like that. Also, they added a new place like Kiji Joji, which is apparently like this new huge central hub type of area and they also added like a hangout place and you can go to and do different things and i believe like you can do pool and darts and go to an aquarium right now but that's still content my guy i mean shit i'll take it if i can you know shoot some shoot some darts with my boy ryuji shit i'll take it but hey other than that we have to wait to see what other social events that they'll give us but also i need to mention the new confidant that was revealed the new doctor or counselor or whatever the fuck you want to call him. The point is, I do not trust this man. 
Like, they gave Kasumi, like, a pretty good bio, like, on her impact on the game, but Alice just says this guy is, like, a extremely nice adult character. Now, if that isn't the most sus shit you've ever heard, then I do not know what is my guy. Like, Jesus. <laughs> like, like, bro, like, you cannot explain anything else. Like, all I know is I do not trust this man one bit. But also, we need to talk about the legend himself, Morgana. Because he ain't a cat no more. He's not a cat anymore, my guy. He's a goddamn male model. Like, that was, like, one of the most surprising things that they like they, they, they revealed to us that would be in Royal. Like, my boy. Like, he did it. The boy's human. He can do whatever he wants now. He can try to get with Lady Anne if he wants to. He could get all his sushi now. I mean... He's still sleeping in the bed with Joker, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with sharing a bed with your homie, you know, kissing him goodnight. It's 2019, my guy. It's 2019. He can do whatever he wants. But anyway, I can't wait to see where they go with this, like, which brings me to another thing, the story. Now, apparently, the story has something to do, it's like, something to do involving dreams or or wishes due to the translation of the Persona 5 Royal trailer like some like there's like a bunch of like subtitle translations thank the lord because they didn't release an release an English tra English trailer for that because I don't think the voice actors even got you know scripts for the stuff yet but Kasumi is like seen talking about dreams so I don't know if she has some sort of unique power or maybe it's like some sort of side plot but Dude, whatever it is, it's gonna be crazy. Because not only do we have human Morgana, we have Futaba's mom alive. Now, the whole dreams aspect would make total sense now. Since, you know, it was basically Morgana's dream to be human and Futaba's dream to have her mom back. Now, whatever it is, I definitely cannot wait to experience that. And the last thing I need to mention is apparently a catchy is going to be alive in Royal, maybe, maybe not, who knows? But all I know is that, like, there was, like, a screenshot of, like, Haru looking out the window, and then, like, you can see, like, Akechi's, like, metaverse clothes, like, in, like, the very corner. Like, people got that good-ass eye. And, like, he's chilling. Like, I don't know if it's his clothes, or maybe he's, like, her and, like, chilling in the car with the rest of the Phantom Thieves. And the car meaning Morgana, so, like, Morgana can still turn into a car and stuff, and, you know, he can still turn into cat form, I guess, in the metaverse, but, bro, that really threw me for a loop. But other than that, there's really, I think, like, I covered everything, like, there's gonna be new cutscenes and everything, but, bro, like, we still have to wait, like, there's a lot more information coming out. So, all we can do really is wait. And yeah, guys, I definitely can't wait for Royal to come out of the West. It's supposed to come out next year sometime, hopefully, with uh, a new information drop. They reveal, they reveal a release date for that in the West. I'm thinking I might do like a like a 24-hour live stream, maybe. I might attempt that for when Persona 5 Royal drops. By the way, if you want to catch my live streams, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash IVXORY. It'll be here on the stream screen stream screen it'll be here on the screen or it'll be down below in the description anyways guys that is going to be the end of the video i hope you did enjoy let me know in the comments below what you think of royal if you're excited anything i missed or maybe just speculation on your end anyways i hope you did enjoy like i said take care of yourselves guys and i'll see you in the next one thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all thank you so much for all the recent support and i'll catch you in the next video or the next live stream peace out my dudes Oh, by the way, Makoto is still the best girl.